man, Nintendo killed it at E3, and today I'm gonna be talking about it. Man, this E3, what this E3 was a horrible E3, but Nintendo saved it. Oh, Nintendo, good job. Well, today I'm gonna be talking about Nintendo's E3, and let's get into the big announcements for me. And at the end, we're gonna give it a rating. The first big announcement for me was Kazuyu and Smash. I hope I said that right. Now, I'm not overly hyped about this character. He's not a character that I wanted. But I'm not going to be like a toxic Smash fan about it, saying, Oh my gosh, I'm never going to play Smash ever again because Kazuyu got inside Smash and not Crash. Crash to be inside Smash because Crash rhymes with Smash. Yeah, I'm not going to be like that. So, he looks pretty cool. As long as he fights good and he's fun to play as, that's really all I care about. I don't really care about if he's hype to me. I just care about if he's fun to play as. That's what Smash fans should really care about. But, I'm not going to get inside that conversation. Conver I, I can't even talk. I'm not even going to get inside that right today. But... Yeah, and this is amazing. So I can't wait for this. Uh, I can't wait for this. Uh, I love Smash Fighters. Like people didn't really like Pyra and Mifra on Smash, and look at her. She's like one of the most OP characters. So shouldn't judge a book. You shouldn't judge a fighter by a type. Is what I'm really saying. So let's get into the next announcement. The next big announcement was Mario Party. And Mario Party is back, baby! And it's back in a good way. And we're back with the old boards, man. I never played the old N64 games, but I'm so excited for this game. This game looks amazing. The visuals look amazing. I already did an analysis on my channel if you guys want to check that out uh, about the games. And I've been going back to old games to see how what I'm going to expect inside this game. And it looks awesome. This is probably one of my most hyped announcements of the Direct. And we, I should give each rate, uh, each one a 10. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that at the end of the video. With each one a 10 out of 10. Uh, at each one uh, an out of 10. So uh, this game looks amazing. And I can't wait for it. Let's get to the next announcement. The next announcement is Metroid, and they, me, Nintendo got the goods inside this thing. They really wanted to win. And Metroid 5, a.k.a. Metroid Dread, the game that was in the development for like 16, 20 years, and it's finally here. And if you guys don't know, I'm not really a Metroid fan, but I'm so hyped for this game, which might seem like... Wow, this game must be very good. If it's getting me hyped, that a non-Metroid fan, wow, I cannot wait for this. And can we just say, uh, rip Metroid Prime Four? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yeah, that's coming out. Never. It's like the Black Widow movie. That movie is never gonna come out. Just like Metroid Prime Four. Why us, Nintendo? Next up is WarioWare, and I gotta talk in my Wario voice. And this game looks amazing, if I do say so myself. I never played a Wario game of WarioWare game before, and I can't wait for a WarioWare game. And I can't wait. And, uh, 
This wall you walk in looks amazing. I mean, like, come on, bro. Uh, uh, this, uh, this looks so good. I cannot wait for it. I hope it is good and just not looking so good. Okay, let's get to the next big announcement. Ha 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 That was a horrible Wario impression. Breath of the Wild 2 plus Arlo equals crazy. Okay, so, yep, we're getting Breath of the Wild 2. I already knew that, but we actually got gameplay footage. What the heck, Nintendo, after two years. Okay, so now, this was a pretty short trailer. Rip Zelda fans, all they got for their anniversary was this. Bruh. So, yeah, uh, uh, this is a pretty cool trailer. But I think what they should have ended off with was Metroid Dread. Because I think that would have got w way more people hyped. And uh, I think it would have been uh, way more hyped than this. Just saying. Maybe they could have had it like where it like in the middle, like a Zelda segment. Like saying, uh, here's some Zelda, here's some Zelda headlines. And I think that would have been a better last announcement than this. Not saying this announcement is bad. Please don't go to uh, in the comments, please. But now let's get into my rating of the Direct. Now my rating for Nintendo's E3 Direct. Drum roll, please. A 9 out of 10. This Direct was one of the best Directs I've ever watched in Nintendo history. Now, I know people say E3 2019 was the best Direct, but I think this one's a little bit better. Now, hear me out. Now, this game had Metroid, Mario Party, WarioWare, and Breath of the Wild 2. I know the other Direct had Breath of the Wild 2, but I'm just a little bit more hype. Maybe because I was live to it, it's maybe just a bias. But yeah, that's what, that's my uh, that's my ranking for for the direct, and I'm gonna uh, rank everything, uh, uh, everything inside this direct, uh, the big announcement. So, Monkey Ball, I mean Kaizu and Smash, a seven out of ten. Monkey Ball, a seven out of ten. Mario Party. Wait, actually, wait a minute. Okay. A 9 out of 10. Metroid Dread, a 10 out of 10. Wow! Incredible! Breath of the Wild 2, a 9 out of 10. And then WarioWare, an 8 out of 10. It's -a me, Wario! <laughs> So those are my rankings. If you guys agreed with my rankings in the comments below, uh, tell me. And I love this direct, you guys. It, I think Nintendo clearly won E3. Don't you dare say Xbox. Okay, so let's get it, uh, uh, let's get it to the end of the video. And bye, you guys.